Hey lovelies, you're welcome back to Kemini Cut and Same. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and turn on your notification button to get you updated of our uploaded videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for being here. Today I'll be showing you how to cut an eight pieces blouse. So firstly, I'm marking out the allowance for the middle flea and that I'm using three inches. And the next thing I will have to mark out or draw out the shoulder line on the shoulder line i'll be placing a half of my shoulder measurement but before i do that i need to create my neck first using three inches width and three inches dead it's just the basic neck for now i can choose to increase the weight or deepen the neck the depth later so i'm placing a half of my shoulder measurement on it and i'll go down with one inch for my shoulder slant then for my shoulder slant i am taking down exactly what i use as my as the half measurement of my shoulder down and because i'm making a princess bustier i'm marking the midpoint of that line so i'll go back to mark the vertical dimensions of the upper bust the bust point the under bust the half length okay and the blouse length and i'm adding one inch for hemming allowance so i'm ruling those lines out now and the next thing i will need to place my nipple to me nipple measurement dividing it by two and then i will add half inch for the allowance the seaming allowance so i'll be marking that all on the lines that i've drawn out okay so i will rule a vertical line from the upper bust all the way to the to the hem and then i will go back to the midpoint i marked on my arm cuff line and i'm connecting that to the bust point and I'll go down, I'm using three inches for the flay I'll be using for the side. Okay. And then to, not to confuse ourselves, I'm marking out those lines of upper bust, bust point, under bust, half length, and the blouse length. And I'll be using three inches for the flay I'm using for the middle front. And I'm connecting that to the half length. Okay. So I'll be cutting this out and this will be for our middle front. The next thing I will have to do, because I'm making a flay for the side front, I'll be adding a little paper to where I cut out that flay, so I will have enough paper to cut out the flay for the side front. And then I'll be placing my cup measurement. Remember, we are doing a bustier. So the, the formula I use for my cup is your round bust measurement minus your under bust measurement and in this case i'm using 40 inches as the round bust and 33 inches as my round under bust and i'll be subtracting 33 from 40 and that gives me seven and then i'll go ahead to minus one from that and i'm left with six inches so dividing that by two because we're cutting it on fold i will have three inches and that three inch is what I'll be marking on those lines that I marked for the upper bust, the bust point, the under bust, even the half length. Okay. Now you need to use your discretion at this point because there are some people that are fat, but they don't really have bust. Forgive me. I am not body shaming anyone. Okay. But we are all carved differently. So there are people who are really on the fat side, but they don't have and bust they are not busty so you need to use your discretion for that and not use the um, um the allowance that we that will make the cup puffy okay so but this is the method i've used over time and it has worked for me so i'm sharing it with you guys today so i'm marking out the three inches for the for the cup and i'll bring the middle front to place on the point that i marked the three inches on that three inches okay so now at this point i will have to complete the measurement for the front bodies i'd already drawn out the shoulder line and slanted it so i'm completing the arm cuff now using exactly the shoulder measurement i use and at the midpoint i'm going with half inch and that's what i'll be using to make my arm cuff 
okay so that arm curve the horizontal line that we we drew at the point of eight inches okay the eight inches i took down for the arm curve that's my chest line so i'll be placing one quarter of my bust measurement plus one inch for my seaming allowance and then for the west line i am placing one quarter of the waist measurement and i'm adding allowance for the seaming okay now if you notice i added half at the half length that's because i won't want to run short of any of fabric when i'm taking out the final measurement okay so now at the hip line okay you can choose to place one quarter of your hip measurement plus one inch and at that point i will take out three inches because i am using it for the flay remember we are doing we are doing a side i mean an eight pieces blouse And then from the edge, I'm going up with two because I don't want it pointy at the edge. So, and this will give it a finer shape. So I'm going up with two inches and that's my front bodies. Okay. Now when you're connecting this flay, please remember, I noticed I made a mistake here. It has to be connected to your half length, your half length, not the boss point line. Okay. So I'm cutting out my front bodies now. And the next thing we would do would be to, to cut out our back bodies. So for the back bodies, basically I'll be doing the same thing, except that I will not be doing a cup for the back bodies. But watch out. So I am bringing in my front bodies, the middle front, and I'll place it, I'll cut exactly that as my back, as my for my back bodies and then the back bodies remember is always one inch higher and half inch wider at the arm cuff okay so i noticed that the paper was not enough so i'm adding paper now so i will have enough paper to do all the cutting that i want to do and of course after that i'm placing that that middle front and i will observe that one inch above above the middle front and I'll observe that half inch for the back as well and that will be the only difference for now that's for the back bodies okay so I'm bringing that out and I'll need to cut this out so I'm adding the one inch above the front bodies like I said we'll be observing that to be the one inch higher and that's for the front for the back bodies and i'll be adding half inch okay at the midpoint for the arm cuff so the next thing i'm placing three inches remember we use three inches for the cup but i won't be doing cup for the barber i still need that three inches to do all the shaping that i want just watch out so like i did for the front bodies i'll bring the back bodies and place it on the point of that three inches and before i do that i'll need to add some paper for the flay that's because the side back to i'm adding flay so after attaching that i'll bring the middle back and place it at the point of the three inches that i've already marked and i'll pin that down now i'll bring the side front and place it the three inches of the side front will be the three inches I am placing on the three inches of the side back I hope you understand and that point becomes their meeting point that three inches just look at the way I'm placing it okay so the three inches I added to the back becomes the middle point that the the middle back will meet and the side front will meet and i'm bringing the middle front to still meet at that same point okay so at this point i will have to start the shaping proper before you do that you need to identify your lines so you will not be confused 
So I'm marking out the bust point and I've identified my under bust, the half length, I'm extending the length. So on the under bust, for my cup, I'll go inwards with one one quarter inch. You can use one and a half, you can use one inch, okay? But I'm using one one quarter here. So I'll be cuffing that using the cuff part of my pattern master to meet my bust point. And at my half length, I'm using the same one one quarter inch to observe it as my dart. Okay, so and I'll roll out a line to meet the allowance I added for the flea. You can take it all the way to the end of that allowance, but I choose to make it three quarter lace because my client doesn't want it too full. She wanted a smart flea. Okay, so I'll cut that out and then I'll trace that shape of the middle front on the side back. And after tracing that out, I'll be shaping out the middle flay that we have for the front, for the middle front. Okay, remember I added three inches. So I'll be using half inch for my seaming allowance at the middle front. And at my half length, I will need to take it out to form an ankle that will take it out to the flay allowance that I added. So now, at this point, I can cut this out but I remember I did not add my half inch or cut it out for the back bodies the half inch at the arm curve that I said to be wider for the back bodies so I'm, I've done that and I'm correcting the mistake I told you that the flesh should be from the half length so after doing all this I need to cut this out and that for the back bodies I'm cutting out I hope I'm not confusing you. So after I have cut this out, I need to cut out the middle flay that I already formed for the middle front. And at this point, I can remove the middle front now because I'm done shaping it. But before I do that, I need to mark out my shoulder line because that's way I'll be taking the back half length now my back half length for this blouse is 15 inches after marking that i am safe to remove that and then i'm shaping out my cup now using the cuff part of my pattern master i'm cuffing from the boss point to meet my arm curve okay and then from my arm curve i'm using one inch at my under bust to curve that to meet my boss point as well and i use the same one inch at my half length and I will take out the ankle for my flay. Now, I'm measuring the ankle between the first line that I trace and the, this other ankle that I've already formed. Okay, I'm having six inches. That's because the client doesn't want it too full. So I made sure I make it smart enough for her. So I'm done with the side front and I had to paint it to the side and then put it aside so I can now do all the shaping for the back for the back bodies remember i added three inches like you will add four zipper allowance okay but this one would equally be for the flay okay now at the back half length because i don't want my zipper to bulge i'll be going inwards with one inch at that point i can connect it as far as i want because i want that smart look at the back and i'm connecting that to meet the flay allowance that i added I'll be using one inch to follow that new center back. That will be for my zipper now. Okay. Like you can see me do. I am using that one inch for the zipper. And then I'll be observing my dart using half an inch. Okay. So that I have done and I will need to cut that out. So after cutting that out, I will need to trace out the shape on the side back. That's so I will... I will know what shape I am following to get the allowance for the seaming and the flay allowance as well. So after cutting the middle back, I will need to set it aside. So we'll have a better view of the side back. Removing that now, remember the back half length, so I'm extending the line. And at that point, I'll be using one inch, pulling that shape upward all the way to the arm cuff. And then I'll trace that out. That will be for my semi-allowance when I'm joining it to the middle back. 
and the flare for the side back i'm using the same six inches i used i used for the back i mean for the front i'm using it for the back now so i'm done with the side back now all i need to do is to bring back the pieces putting back the pieces together okay so i'm pinning the back the middle back to the side back and i'm bringing back the middle front to place it on the side front and that's our six pieces blouse draft so now because i don't want the back bodies to have like a tail i just want it to have a smart look the the client actually stressed that smart look all right so i'm doing this cutting this out give it a straight look so that after you've sewn out those fleas it will not be dropping or giving a tail like look okay it will just be smart as a normal blouse so that's the essence of that so i'm putting this back all of them the pieces together and i will need to cut out the neckline at this point i'm cutting out the front neck and i'll be doing that for the back now for the back i'm going downwards with two inches that's if you want it a high neck so i'm going back going down with two inches and i'll be cutting that out remember to cuff it okay and then you will notch all those joinings, all the allowance we added for seaming. So I've used the draft to cut it on the fabric. That's how it looks. That's the middle front and the side front. Now remember to do all your notches, okay? Especially at the underboss, so you'll be able to get the right cup, okay? You'll not have to mix it up. So that's the middle front and we'll be doing the same thing to the lining because we'll be doing inseam finishing so here's the side back and the middle back you will notch your zipper allowance so you will know what shape you're following when you're inserting your zipper so please watch out for the sewing part of this video and remember to subscribe and turn on your notification button for our uploaded videos Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.